So what I'm gonna to talk to you about here on the duck call is how to do a proper feeding chuckle. Now there's two different ways how to do a proper feeding chuckle. There is the tick, 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 tick method or the cuck, 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 cuck method. And the tick, tick method sounds like this. That's the tick, tick method. The ka method, K-A, 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 ka, 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 like that. is like that. Now both can be used in so many different ways, but I'm gonna go over the tick method first. And the way that I do that is either the front part of your tongue with the tongue anchored, or you take the tongue off of your bottom row of teeth and you shove it up to the roof of your mouth. I like to put the tip of my tongue to the roof of my mouth, but I have to control my air pressure better. So when I do that, I'm saying tit tit going with a T noise to the roof of my mouth. And I am separating each breath of air. So I'm pushing constant air through my mouth and my tongue is going up and down. That's what's making the tick noise. Same thing for the ka noise. I'm using the back part of my tongue or the meaty part of my tongue and I'm pushing that up to the roof of my mouth. So if you hear, as I keep constant air pressure going and I'm just dropping and lifting my tongue back up, here's what that sounds like. and I'm still blowing a little bit or I'm putting more emphasis on each like that. But you have to think of your tongue as a valve and each time you release that valve, air comes out and you put your tongue back up to the roof of your mouth and that's what makes the reed break over. Like that, and for the ka. And if you want to on the ka noise, instead of using the meaty part straight up and down, you can kind of flatten your tongue and it gives you a whinier noise like I was just doing. So I suggest as you're learning how to do your feeding chuckle on your duck call is to just go slow and then try to run it together and if it sounds like crap, slow it back down again. The main thing with the feeder chuckle is getting each note clean and precise. You know, if you wanna run fast, you know how people do the rolling feed call. And I'm not the best at it by any means, but when I do it, it does kill ducks. But to even get that fast, you know, I had to really slow it down and build up speed slowly. So hopefully that helps you guys out on how to do the feeder chuckle better, whether it's with the T noise or the K noise, both kill ducks. People down in the south use the K noise, people up north use the T noise. So both of them work great. And if one's not working one day, you can switch it up and add another one to your arsenal and they'll probably finish that day. You never know. So be sure to subscribe and watch the rest of these videos that we're doing. We're doing a lot more duck calling videos. We've already done a bunch of goose calling videos. So thanks for watching.